Hi friends, welcome to SPG Learning. In this video, we are going to see the remaining three layouts in layout management. That is frame, table and grid layouts respectively. Let us design the frame layout. Move to frame layout activity XML file. Change the layout to frame layout. Add image view. Add the image, copy and paste the source to drawable folder to add the image. Now add the source in the code. We see that the flower is displayed. Now add the text view, copy and paste the text value from the relative layout and change the name to frame. Similarly, copy and paste the definition text view from the relative layout and change the definition statement of the frame layout and change the margin values. Also copy and paste the back button, change the id of the back button to frame back and lay, lay out gravity to bottom right. Now to activate the back button go to activity frame.java file, copy and paste the java code and change the button value to frame button. Similarly in the click val activation, now run the code, it is a frame layout, the views are stacked one after the other, now click the back button, the control move to the main page, let us design the table layout, for that open activity underscore table dot xml file. In that, add a table layout. Below the layout, initialize a table lay row. The table row is used for each and every view of the row. First, we are going to define the heading view. So, for that, we are using one table row. Copy and paste the heading code from relative.xml file and change the text to table layout and delete the id. Now to define the statement, initialize one more table row, define the table statement in the text field. The code is copied from the relative layout, the text field is changed and delete the layout below attribute. Add one more table row. In the row, add one text view to enter the name of the user and add one more text view to get the password. First, we are going to get the username. Add a text view with attribute values with the 0 dp, height as match parent, weight as 1, background as purple 200, text color as purple 500, text size 15 dp, text style bold and text as uh, enter your name, margin top as 20 dp. Add edit text with width as 0 dp, height as match parent, width as 1 dp and id as edit text 11. In this name, text color as purple. Now to get the password, copy and paste the above code uh, that is from table row. Just to change the text of the text view to enter password and change the edit text hint to password, edit text id to edit text 11 to hide the text type in the password use one more field input type to text password so that the text we typed is hidden that is shown as encrypted text 
add one more table row to insert the back button for that copy and paste the back button code from the activity frame xml file and only change the id to table back now go to frame activity java file copy the code and move to table activity file paste it and change the button to button from frame to table similarly the click event do the necessary changes now run the app the activity is working by clicking the back button the control transfer to main activity now we are going to design the grid layout move to grid layout.xml file here we use the constraint layout as such within the constraint layout we are going to design the grid layout now define each and every widgets that is uh, views and button in the grid layout first for title text view use one grid layout with with match parent height match parent column count 1 row count 1 copy and paste the title text view from the previous layout and only change the text as grid layout now add the definition copy and paste the above grid layout in that layout add a text view from the previous frame layout and change the definition statement Now add one more grid layout to display the RGB and CMY color codes in text views that is in three rows and two column matrix rectangular grid For that first add the colors in the color.xml file that is red green blue and cyan magenta yellow colors the colors are added go back to activity underscore grid xml file then add the text view in the first text view use the width value to 120 dp height 90 dp layout row margin 10 dp layout row 0 layout column 0 margin 10 dp background color red text or size 20 dp style as bold copy and paste the text view and change the background color and text values according to rgb and cmy values to move the grid below we need to add the margin that is we need to position the margin top margin to 200 dp bottom to 200 dp left to 70 right to 70 dp So now the grid is moved below and it looks nice. Now add one more grid layout to add the back button. For that copy and paste the grid value from the first one. And then copy the button code from table file change the ID to grid back. Now to activate the button move to table.java file copy the button code and paste it in the grid.java code and just change the button value to grid back and also in the click event change accordingly Now run the app it is working but some text views are missing in the grid for that go again go to the activity_grid.xml file to get all the grid text views are visible change the width and height of each and every text view to small that is to 50 dp and also some text views text are having the value r we have to change the value according to cym so change the text and also the width and height let us now run the app again 
It is working. By click the back button, it moves to the main page. So now we start running our layout management app. So this is our layout management main page. First we are clicking the linear button, linear layout. It, it display the linear layout which arrange the views horizontal and vertical direction. Three buttons arranged in horizontal and three in vertical. Now move back to the main activity. Second, we are running the relative layout, the positions and that is the views are relative to each other. Move back to main activity, that is again click the third layout frame. Here the views are stacked, that is top one view is the top of each other, first image and on the top of it we have text view and also the buttons. Now we move back to the main activity. Click the table layout. It group the views in rows and columns. Now move back to the main activity. Grid layout. It display the view. Equally sized rectangle grid. Move back to main activity. This is our Android layout management. Thank you.